after uh, the Obama victory, do voters want more change and not necessarily the kind of change the president believes in? Let's get back to the best political team on television. Uh, Donna, I'll start with you. If Who are you laughing the, about? The, the Democrats lose in Virginia and New Jersey. Here he goes. And they also lose in that upstate New York congressional district. In other words, the Republicans or the conservatives have a clean sweep tomorrow in these elections we're watching. What will that mean? Well, first of all, Wolf, history is against us. As you know, the party in power normally loses the gubernatorial races in those two states. So I wouldn't be surprised because there's a strong anti uh, anti-government, anti-incumbent headwind facing... Uh, you wouldn't be surprised Democrats. if the Democrats lose at all. I, I, but I'm looking for a miracle. I'm always <laughs> looking for miracles. Uh, but in Virginia, in, in particular, well, it, you know, you get uh, that? Mr. Deeds has not mm -hmm. run a great campaign. I think that he understood from day one after winning a primary that he had to mobilize the same kind of base that President Obama did last year. There's not a lot of energy there. But he's trying. Right. Who knows? Let me let me ask David. If, if the Democrats lose everything in these three contests tomorrow, what does that mean? It means that the economic pain that this country is in is so serious uh, that people are crying for help, um, and they have. Why would they blame the Democrats more than the Republicans? The, 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 the President of the United States borrowed 800 billion dollars and said, "I will make the economy better." Uh, the economy is worse now. He can say, "Well, it's better than it might otherwise have been," but more people are out of work. Uh, more houses have been foreclosed. The number of November second, six months or more, is about six thirty p.m. Cameron is going nuts. So fifty percent of them are unemployed. And by the way, that's one of the reasons that the Democratic base has collapsed because those young people, those African Americans, who are so crucial to the president's election, they are the people who've been hit hardest, and they're very. The music is too loud. The other thing is that why would they blame the Democrats instead of someone else? John Corzine has been in office as governor of New Jersey. So he's the point man for the economy in New Jersey. And Democrats have been in the governorship in Virginia for the last several terms. So uh, if you're going to blame the Democrats, it's going to be the people in your state. I think also uh, what we're going to learn here is whether uh, President Obama, when he put together this movement... Probably not. He's probably just resting so he can beat me up again. And they were going to use for other campaigns. Is it there? We'll find out whether it's there. Yeah, I, I think the big thing we all uh, may want to look at tomorrow night is where yeah, those independent voters are going. It. Because we've seen in poll after poll that the president is more popular than his policies. The folks who seem to be having a great deal of question about his policies who used to agree with him on the campaign trail as those independent voters, and they're going to be the team to be elected in, in a state like Virginia.